stone has been engraved, presumably by a man named Ibon, with an inscription that reads, Ibon, son of Ola, has lifted me over his head with one hand. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how Ibon wrote his inscription in the first person perspective of the stone? The Viking was a job description. An extensive genetic study of Viking. revealed that the quote-unquote Vikings were an incredibly genetically diverse group, and not the necessarily homogeneous people that they were often thought of. They came from all over Europe, and it is perhaps better thought of as a job description, like pirate or mercenary, rather than an ethnic group. Anfim. In the city of Novgorod in Russia, archaeologists found the spelling home of a seven-year-old medieval child named Anfim. Anfim was obviously disinterested in his homework as he doodled all over it. I took a deeper dive into this story in a previous video, so you should check that out. Caligula's Coffee Table In the first century AD, the notorious Roman emperor Caligula ordered the construction of two of the largest wooden ships ever built in antiquity. These pleasure barges were some of the most expensive and technologically advanced of their day, and were said to host the emperor's lavish parties and orgies. Caligula's fancy ships eventually sunk to the bottom of Lake Nemo, where they remained for almost 2,000 years. In the 1920s, however, Italian dictator Benito Mussolini ordered the lake be drained and wreckage of the ships recovered. The two Nimi ships were successfully raised and eventually housed in their own museum. But in 1944, an Allied attack resulted in a fire that eventually burned down the museum, sadly, almost completely destroying the remains of the original ships in the process. Little managed to survive. That was until 2000.